Hello and welcome to Classic Kids from the Parish of All Saints in Melbourne in Australia. Let's begin as we always do with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now where are we up to in the church year? Let's have a look in our beautiful book, My Book of the Church's Year. So we have come through, haven't we? We've come through Ascension Day. And also with Sunday Pentecost, and we've also had Trinity Sunday and Corpus Christi, and now we're in October. I wonder what uh, saints have their feast days in October. Well, so many interesting ones. Oh, look, we can see Saint Francis. And St. Edward the Confessor. Oh, St. Therese of Avila. And St. Luke painting a picture. So I thought, what could we do uh, to make something beautiful for our churches in a tiny way and to help our priests? And so I got to thinking that uh, in our churches, we often have a box of matches next to the candles. And the design on the box is maybe not that beautiful. It's just an ordinary box of matches. But we could make it much more beautiful. We could make it look something like this. Or like this. Or we could... Have different, slightly different crosses. We could use shiny paper. Or we could use a monogram. Here we have M for Mary and her crown as Queen of Heaven. It's a very easy craft to do and also really interesting because you can choose lots of different designs. I chose mine from quite an old book of different symbols, but you can find lots of information online. And you can see all sorts of different types of crosses. I think I use this one here and also this one. And there'll be information about monograms as well. So have a look online for different ideas. Now, it's pretty simple. You just have some little pieces of paper even little scrap pieces of paper will be fine around the house. And you just need to stick them on either side of your box of matches. So on one side and on the other side. Don't stick them here because this is where you need to strike the match. So you just stick them on either side, a little piece of paper. And then you'll end up with something like this. Just a little bit piece of paper on it. And then you can decorate it. And you could decorate it with paints, with a paintbrush, or you could draw something with a pen. Uh, I decided to use uh, some puff paint that I had around the house. Yeah, you can get it in different colors. Um, and this particular puff paint um, has glitter through it so that you can uh, make something that when it dries, will really sparkle like this. Now, only do your design on one side. Don't do it on both sides because uh, you want people to know what side to open the matchbox up. If you had it on both sides, they might open it the wrong side and all the matches will fall out. So that's a lovely little craft that we can do. And then you can give them to your church or you can have them at home. Um, and instead of having a rather dull matchbox like that, you can have something that's quite beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed our craft for today and I'll see you again soon. Ave Maria.